What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in the beautiful Bahamas. We got Captain Eric over here with XL Spearfishing. Hey yo. We got Billy. What's up? Cammy over hey there. Yo. Leah. And we got Brandon up on the bow getting ready to push off. So we just got here. Um, fortunately for us, my friend Jim and Dusty are letting us use their house here in the Bahamas. So huge thank you to you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. We got the Seymour maps. We got the portable Raymarine unit, the nine inch with a Bahamas chip. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out today and tomorrow. The weather isn't the best. Here, I'm gonna hand you that. But we're gonna make do with what we got. We're only gonna be here for today, which is, what's today? Friday? Saturday? Saturday. Today, Saturday? We're on island time. We're on island time. You guys, with YouTube, I never know what day it is. So it's Saturday. We have probably about a half day today. We got a full day tomorrow, and then we are leaving Monday around two o'clock. So we're gonna go out spear fishing. We got a bunch of pole spears. We're iced down. We got snacks, and we are ready to roll. See that guy down there? Eyeball shot. Did you see him sitting on the throw flasher? I did. That's when he turned away towards the boat. He was sitting on the flasher. That thing was huge. That mutton. Why is it raining? So after we checked out some shallow reef for lobster, which we didn't find any, Brandon took a dive down probably in this area that's about 40 feet and locked eyes with a Cubera snapper. Now he's doing everything so perfect right now. The boat shifts in the gear, spooks the fish, he makes the shot. And when you shoot snapper, they go ballistic underwater. And unfortunately the snapper did rip off. Um, I don't think the slip tip engaged all the way, didn't lock in the fish. And this Cubera lived to see another day. Or might be shark food. I 
don't know. That. I just ripped off on like a big Cubera. The bands, the band on this fair I'm using is pretty weak. It's not your fault. I have it on camera. He like comes in. I light up the headshot, and the motor shifts, and he goes, and then comes right back, and I hit him in the side, and then he pulled off. But me and Eric just checked out the hole. Wow, this is nice. We just found this beautiful, shallow, probably 18 foot reef. Got a nice hogfish in the boat. Here you go. On the three prong, no less. Nice. <laughs> there is little Cubera everywhere. As soon as we jumped in, Cubera, hogfish. It, it's really, really beautiful under here. I was like, I saw him just sitting in the sand. I was like, oh, that's such a good one. Two in the sand. Huh? That's a nice hole. Yeah. I wanna jump in. Okay. So weak. It's one of the big series we saw swimming around though. Yeah, there were some three. huge ones out there. Yeah. Nice. Look at all that heel. <laughs> right next to the ankles. Nice, that is a nice zero mackerel. We found some gorgeous, gorgeous reef out here in the Bahamas. And although it's not like, you'll see like 20 hogs, you'll see a good hog here. I'm so sad, bro. So about 50 yards this way, you'll see a good hog. Three nice mackerel swim by. There's definitely a bunch of cubaras in the area, so I like it. It's not over fishy where you take it for granted, but it's just fishy enough to keep you staying here in spirit. I'm out of breath. And you got a belly shot. <laughs> yeah, I chased hot with died. the belly shot. <laughs> Coming in hot with a belly shot. <laughs> Coming in hot with a belly shot. Good job. Coming in hot with the belly shot. <laughs> oh, nice little insulator. Solid. I wasn't hog. Is that yours? Yeah. yeah, that's Billy's hog. Such a good one. Alright, stick this in there somehow. Are there bags under it? <laughs> Kelly, is my throw flasher in that corner? Oh, uh, yeah.
He was just chilling there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's not even yeah. powerful. No. Oh, I did kind of spine him too. Good. <laughs> I know. I was like, Have you ever shot. eaten one? Oh yeah, they're my favorite. They're so good. Have you? No. Are you serious? Yeah. That's why I was like, I figured I'd think. Oh like... my gosh, yes. <laughs> Girl, this will be your favorite fish in the world. <laughs> but that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, yes. Cammy has never eaten lionfish. She gonna learn today. Nice. That'll be the best one yet. Oh, so good. <laughs> this is the biggest lionfish I ever speared. He's huge. He's huge. I know it's but not pretty not at all. Pretty at all. Dang. Dude, that's like a two pounder. That is a good one. Everybody shooting lionfish in the Bahamas. Hey, okay, guess what? Girls won. Girls won. Where are the boys at? <laughs> they got a hogfish and a lionfish. Oh, did they really? Yeah. <laughs> so they don't win. Dude, this lionfish is a freaking stud. He's honestly not really pretty though. Where's the light? It has oh a great gosh. personality. It has a pretty personality. It has a great personality. I'm sure his friends love them. And Cammy's never eaten lionfish. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah, we're doing lionfish for dinner. Lionfish is amazing. Let me see yours. Yeah, yours is prettier. He's it's a, still here. I was already high five. See, look how much better my personality is than yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. Cammy shot a hogfish, it looks like. And Billy shot a school snapper. What you got, Cammy? Oh, just a cool fish. Nice. Mm. Nice little one. Mm. Oh, let me see the string. Where is it? There we go. There you go. All right. Nice job. Again, girls rule. Girls. Always number one. <laughs> <laughs> girls rule and boys rule. That's right. A hogfish beats a school snapper because I think Billy just saw a, shot a oh. school snapper. I saw it flipping on the surface. I like never shoot these things, but I was like, why not? Why not? Yeah. It tastes good. Eh, they're really bony. Really? Yeah. It's a school snapper, right? School master, yeah. School master. Dang, look at that. Look at the teeth. Those are insane. That was like one of the right. smaller ones, too. Really? Yeah. Dang. Nice. Yeah, you did really shoot it through the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You wanna grab, get in? I saw you ripping water on the surface. Yep. That's a good one. You never know. We shot it with a leg there. cramp. What? <laughs> I shot it with a leg cramp. Nice. Solid yellow jack. Stud. The tip is perfection. Yeah, right? Hold on. I'll point you in. Ow. I shot it off a nurse shark. <laughs> Sick. And you weren't filming. That would have been so cool. Dang. I tried to get the other one. I couldn't catch up. The nurse sharks are producing out here in the Bahamas. That's what you want to do. That's what I gave him squid hands and I started grunting at him. Bro, that was the biggest nurse shark I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it was like, giant. Dude, he charged me and I thought it was a giant bull. I knocked oh. my slip tip off and then saw the nurse shark. I thought it was a lemon at first and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll see what it, what's going on with it. And I just see the two big yellow jacks. I was like, yeah. yeah. Nice. I'll shoot one. So who's going to owe who $20 today? No, oh, it's for the whole trip. I still got two the days. The whole trip? Yeah. So Billy and I have a bet we made last night. Whoever shoots the biggest fish gets 20 bucks. And you're two fish behind. I think you should do it per day. No, that's no, it's the whole trip. Whole trip. Whole trip. Whole trip. So far. I should have shot that big barracuda. Oh, uh, I, I do have a scale though. We'll wait. Biggest fish. fish in general, just. It's just the weight. Up. Yeah, I have a scale. Shot the shark. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's. So we got to weigh this one and the hogfish and see which one weighs more. 14, 12, somewhere around there. Let me see. What do you mean weigh right now, or you... the hogfish? No, I said and. Did I say or? I mean, he's bigger. 12, 14, somewhere around there. I think he's... He's definitely heavier than the hog. 11.6. Oh, you're going... Yes, what about Ron's total poundage? What about Eric? Eric? 
We'll have to talk about that over back dinner. Back. I am putting that in the backpack. So, so far there's one competition of the heaviest fish that me and Billy shoot, 20 bucks. And then at dinner, we'll, we'll decide a team thing and see what we can put Hell together yeah. for tomorrow. How much do you think? That's a slob. Nah. 15 feet of water. 12, 13 12. pounds, somewhere around there. All it's right. We might, we might have a scale on the boat somewhere. Unfortunately, I did have my scale, but I need two AAA batteries. And I only had AA batteries, so maybe we can scavenge some batteries when we get back to the house. But we're going to go ahead and deep drop for a little bit before we head in and cook our lionfish and I believe hogfish for tonight. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Yes. Your fin's okay? Yes. I got that in slow motion though. <laughs> that was Not very. That, that. that was graceful. You can yes. put Don't get poked. I'm kind of scared. Why are you scared? It's been a long time since I've played a lionfish. Big ones like that don't even have any toxins though. Yeah, big ones don't hurt. <laughs> As you guys can see, we are at the fillet station right now. We just cleaned up the boat. I flew the drone. The boys cleaned all the fish. Is this is this our hog? Is this our dinner right here? The hog? Yes. Okay, sweet. Oh yeah. We're doing. Was this the one I shot? Uh, there's no telling. They were no. all the same exact size. Hogfish and lionfish. And the super cool thing is Cammy has never eaten lionfish, so I am super stoked for her to try some. Although after I fillet this fish, I'm jumping in that beautiful pool because I cannot wait to get all the salt off me. So with the lionfish, their little spikes on their face are not poisonous. You can hit them, you can poke them. They're just gonna poke you. The venomous spines are these dorsals, the ones on the peck. And then they have an anal fin too. So a lot of people do use scissors and they cut off the fins. That way when they fillet the fish, it's just a little bit more worry-free. However, you can fillet fish without poking you. You just gotta be super careful. Try not to go against the fins, go away from them. And if you want, you can use a long knife just to feel a little better. Lionfish meat is super, super soft. See, flipping the fins away from me. Poke the knife through. And just flay it like any normal fish. It's actually super soft. It wasn't really in the ice, so the meat's not as hard. So it's a little more difficult. Lionfish is an incredible fish to eat. This is my world record lionfish over here. This is the biggest one I've ever seen and ever shot. The meat literally looks like a hogfish, super white, pretty much absolutely no bloodline. You guys, Chef Eric over here <laughs> made this beautiful concoction of all of our fish. The lionfish and the hogfish are just in there somewhere. I don't even it's know. All, it's all combined. Yeah, what do we got going on here? We got some panko seasoning. We got some cheese. Yeah, so this is my, this is my favorite fish dish to make where we have a lot of people, a lot of fish, 
It doesn't take long to make. Throw it in the oven at like 400 degrees, and all it is is the, the raw fillets. You melt a little bit of butter, put paprika, pepper, uh, whatever seasoning you prefer, whether it's Old Bay or Everglades or anything, anything like that. Um, put a little bit of that, like melt that okay. in the butter, put it on the fish, then panko all over it. Like put the excess panko in the melted butter, spread it all over, bake it at 400 degrees, boom. boom. You got a bunch of fish ready to rip. You got a hogfish casserole. Hogfish, lionfish, whatever else. It is looks in delicious. It. I'm super excited to eat. We are all starving. We've been on the boat all day and have barely been eating. So let's see what we're working with here. Oh yeah, and Cammy prepared this beautiful Caesar salad. Mm. Straight salad. out of the bag. <laughs> salad is the, the best part. <laughs> Fresh out of the bag. Oh yeah. This fish is amazing. Oh, and cheese too. Mm. Italian cheese in that blend. Mm. Forgot it, that's a key element. Yeah. It's good though. Yeah. Eat that, tell me, take a bite With the of that. cheese? Tell me that's not phenomenal. Mm. The cheese, the cheese brings it all together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's an Italian four cheese blend, shredded. <laughs> is it thick cut or, or fine cut? cut? The, Fancy cut. Um, <laughs> Sargento. Sargento. <laughs> Shout out. Swasser. Yeah. <laughs> no free ads. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Eric. I only shot one fish, so thank sure. you to everybody for contributing sure. fish to this. It was a great first day. Like, perfect, because tomorrow... Tomorrow you better shoot a bigger fish. You're gonna win that bet. Yeah, I need to shoot a bigger fish tomorrow. Tomorrow I, we're going oh. a little farther. The fish are gonna hopefully be a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll get into some grouper. You never know. Mm. And, uh... All I want tomorrow is that grouper that I had on my jig today. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been nice. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it was a grouper, maybe it was a bonita. <laughs> <laughs> if well, that was a bonita, I've never had one rock me up. We'll never know. Deep water porgy. Ooh, world's biggest porgy. They get pretty big. You have to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's big. What is it? Oh, it's hold up. It's rocked up. That was a big black. Big black. Uh, we can get up current of it if she lets line out. That was a big black or a big Kubera? Yeah, it wasn't a shark because it definitely just rocked up. Yep. Definitely not a Goliath. I was so. literally making fun of an old video and I was joking about getting hit and then I just got slammed by something huge. We were also joking about saying the F word. Yeah. And I immediately yeah, said that. Yeah, I definitely word. let out line get up current of it for yeah. back and you might come out. I thought it was a shark, 100%. I'm like, oh, I can't even stop it. But if it's know. a big black or yeah, Kibera, it's more like fishing, stay like on. Full slack. Oh, it's oh, it's moving. Is it coming out? Yeah. All right, start cranking. Well, I'm also the boat is moving yeah, right I now. Know. I'm coming around it, so that's probably what's pulling. Yeah, just keep just enough tension to feel if you can uh, see if he comes out or not. Uh, he just kicks. But I, I feel this. Yeah, there, okay. yeah. He, he's angry in the rock is what it is. I don't know, but if I lose all my life. No, How deep is it? I'm about to drive up. How deep is it? 300. Yeah, we're over at 319 right now, but where he hit you was probably 280 or so. Just keep showing me the line. I would, I would turn straight, out, Eric. Uh, yeah, turn out. Turn out. We're moving. We are moving. Alright, guesses on what it is. Cubera? Black. Black. I just want to see it on the surface. <laughs> It'll be the Kibera we needed today, and we missed. <laughs> That's like the you guys, we were chasing Kiberas all day today. Are you gaining on it, or are we just driving into it? I mean, I'm not really sure. sure. Okay. Um, turn out a little bit. But I feel like I feel its head. Oh, there it goes. Head shaking. There it goes again. It's, it's out. Yep. Okay. Get it, Cal. We're so excited. <laughs> Come on, stay on, stay on. Yeah, it's swimming up now. It's swim yeah, you might, it might be tired. It's really weird. Or it could be running from something. Oh, boy. 
Uh, straight down. Straight down. You can probably so, pop it in neutral right now. Yeah, yeah. And be good. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. I don't, I nice and easy. Nice, nice and easy. About. Famous words when reeling in a big fish. Nice <laughs> Stay calm. Rod tip up, wind down to it. Reminds me of charter fishing. <laughs> Back to its home. It's got a big black. I, I would assume it's a big black. Who can go down there? <laughs> Who's got the dive? <laughs> yeah, oh, I need about slow fish. How deep? Someone right uh, 140? You got that, Billy? 140? I can hit 100. I can't hit 140. If get I had it, a. Get it into 120. If I had that, <laughs> that, what is it, a raider at your shop? Yeah. Dude. You got 25 this. foot shot? All day. Deep breaths. That thing is rocked mm -hmm. right now. He's moving his head too. I just don't know. Yeah, I don't want him to swim through the rock. Hopefully he comes back out the same way. Well, he's swimming somewhere now. We're drifting. Yeah, but we're over Ooh. the line right now. I'm, yeah. just I'm trying to wait for the wind to blow us off. Then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like a front. And what's going on? This might be one of the most exciting things that happened today. I know, right? <laughs> He's definitely rocked up right now. Let's give him a little bit of slack. And... Yeah. Maybe I just give him... There's four nice. hooks on this Johnny jig, so hopefully he's got all four hooks in there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one head shake could cost it if he's only got one. But he's still hooked, so that's good. I only have 30 pound braid and 30 pound mono on this. Alright, now he's going. Ooh. Yeah. Go forward just a little bit, bump it forward. Now he's running. He's trying to go home. Yeah. He went to the first rock he found, and now he's trying to go home. He's out just wide. There you go. Joke's on us, Goliath. <laughs> legal here. No, no. Legal here. It is legal, but yeah. we don't want that. Yeah. We do not want that. Will we take it? Absolutely. There it goes. God. Well. Wow. Unfortunate. Jigs there. Jigs there? Yeah. Are I you think. sure? You might just have a lot of line out. I do have a lot of line out. The resistance from the line makes it feel I'm like, like all I want to do is see it at the surface. Keep it rolling. Let's see what happened. That was exciting, man. That was exciting. You just don't know what's down there, what structure they're going in. They could swim in a hole, out another, and your line can be literally under a cave. And with braid, too. Yep. Yep. I think he ran right into a ledge and cut me off on a rock. Well, that, that Johnny cool. Jig is still in him. Yep. Yeah, yeah he's got a pretty little mouth, some mountain <laughs> jewelry down there. Wow, that was exciting though, at the end of the day. The sun's going down. We're going to head back to the house, cook a amazing fresh fish meal for dinner. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. That would be something. A world record's a world record. True. Whether it's a 4D or a black grouper. I'm going for the Bermuda Chef world record tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good I idea. Saw, I saw, dude, bro, same. I told Brandon, the only, he put in the group chat, the text chat, which you obviously left six times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with group chats. That he wanted to bring his fly rod. I told him he could only bring, bring the fly rod if he caught Bermuda Chubs only. That's kind of doable. We could probably make that happen. I've got Sounds like a challenge. Which is like, Bermuda chubs on fly in the Bahamas is a, like, that's a given. 
It's so easy. You just tie a fly that looks like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know what a Bermuda chub is, I'm going to show you guys one right here. They're everywhere. They're the easiest fish to get close to. Probably the easiest to spear if you even shoot one, which I wouldn't shoot one. But honestly... I love to follow live aboard boats, whether it's sailboats or motorboats, whatever the case is. And when you hit that Y valve and pump that shit out, or pump that stuff, <laughs> pump that stuff out into the ocean, yeah, oh, they, sh they no. show up. I'm not gonna lie, I have been wanting to do a Bermuda chub catch and cook on my channel for a while. Yeah. I'm just not. because. Just because. <laughs> it's not the worst. How about just a catch cook it's, and it's, it's not the worst. <laughs> I've had it. I don't think I think you Was could that a, cook is that a anything? catch clean and discard? <laughs> <laughs> That's a spear and release video. <laughs> a spear and release. Oh my gosh. Alright you guys. I'm gonna end this video. We're gonna enjoy our fish that we shot today. It doesn't get any fresher than this but we have all day tomorrow to film the video. Be sure to stay tuned to that video as well. But right now, I'm gonna get to eating. Excuse me, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> they wouldn't have known. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and leave a positive comment below, and we'll see you guys next time. Thumbs see up. ya. Thumbs up. <laughs>